I'm going to cape this buck out as well. So we'll cape it and debone this one side. So you just go between the horns dead center. And I kind of like to draw a line down for the cape, right down the dark line there. And just, you can feel right behind the skull plate. Start there, cut with the hair. Try and just, you know, try not to saw, just make a nice smooth line for the taxidermist. Easy to sew up. A lot of, a lot of the complaints the taxidermists get or, or have are guys don't go back far enough to do a full pedestal mount or a wall mount. So I always like to go halfway between their shoulders to give them plenty of room to work with. So what I do is make a mark going that way, you know, on the back side of the deer, and come this way so you keep it even. And this isn't as critical, just draw a straight line right in half. back. And what I do is just take these legs off. Right there at the joint. You want to go right down from there to the elbow. And you don't want to go through this armpit because that's seen on a lot of mounts. So you can kind of see this guy's got a long hairline and I just go straight back. If you pull it tight like that you can kind of see what you're doing. if you have somebody hold it for you. And then I just go straight back. You can angle toward the middle a little if you'd like. side. What I do is just bend the leg like this and you just cut kind of dead center. And you'll kind of work here. You just kind of cut until you can see an air gap like that and you know you hit the joint. On these deer, they're not, not as tough as elk. Okay, so there's the main cuts for the cape. When I bone out this side, we'll flip him over and we'll make the same cut around on that side. So now we're, now we're good to skin him.
now that we have the skin removed on this one side, I show how to debone this mule deer without gutting it in a separate YouTube video. Once we have the meat removed, we're going to flop it over and I'll show you how to cape the other side. Okay, we've got him flopped over. Now I'm going to take and find the little key that I was telling you about. I go a little farther on this side, a little farther on that side. And I'm just going to connect those together for finishing out caping this guy. The necks are usually the hardest part. And I just pull it all forward and start going around it in a circle. And then I like to take, get the head kinked like that. And you can feel the back of the skull there. 
You cut right in next to the back of the skull. Pop the head out. Got the cape. On an elk or a moose, sometimes I'll cape it out just to save the the bottom jaw weight, but I'll show you how to do that at the pickup. I'm gonna pack him out like that. Alright. Alright. We've got half the deer. I've got half the deer. Tom's got half the deer boned out. Head and cape, and we gotta do some cliff climbing coming out of here. It's not gonna be fun, but it's gonna be worth it when we get to the pickup. <laughs> <laughs> 